doesn't love eating? I for one do, although I'm not really into the exotic. Also, I have a bit of a weight problem. Some exotic foodies in the US, however, won't be able to try any of these delicacies. Today we're going to talk about 15 foods banned in the US. The food item on number one is probably too much, even to the most foodie of foodies. Stay tuned to find out what that is. Number 15. Shark fins. We start off this list with something that isn't totally banned in the United States, but the shark enthusiast in me thinks it should be banned everywhere. Believe it or not, shark fins are not entirely banned in the US. Currently only 12 states uphold an official ban on the sale of shark fins. However, the act of shark finning itself has been illegal in US water since 2000. Shark finning is banned as it is considered an act of animal cruelty because it involves a slicing of fins off live sharks, simply to toss them overboard and endure a horrific demise. Still, 10 of the 12 states that ban the sale of shark fins still allow some restaurants to serve the meat. Shark fin soup is actually considered to be a luxury dish in several Asian countries, especially over in China. Number 14. Aki Fruit Another food item that is banned, but not really banned, is the Aki Fruit. Aki is the national fruit of Jamaica. However, when it's unripe, the fruit contains high levels of the toxin hypoglycin A, which inhibits the body's ability to release blood glucose. This can cause people to fall into a state of hypoglycemia, a condition where glucose levels are too low, which can induce vomiting, ultimately cause dehydration, and even result in death. Importation of the raw fruit was banned by the FDA in 1973, but you can still purchase canned or frozen aki fruit in the US that have been cleared to have a low enough concentration of the toxin. Number 13. Sassafras Oil while the root bark of the sassafras plant has historically been used by Native Americans to treat illness including fever and rheumatism, the oil from sassafras lends a different result. There is a compound in sassafras oil called safrole, which is a known carcinogen. If you don't know what a carcinogen is, well, there are substances that have been proven to cause cancer in humans. The FDA set a ban on sassafras oil back in the 60s, but again, this is not a complete ban. Extracts from the roots of the plant are still legal as long as they do not contain safrole. Number 12. Ortolans. Ortolans are tiny songbirds I can literally hear you asking right now. Who in the world would want to eat a songbird? Well, as it turns out, the French. The tiny red songbird was a former French delicacy, having been exclusively served to royalty and wealthy gourmands. Selling of ortolans became illegal in France only in 1999. This was 20 years after the EU deemed it a protected species. The US also banned the selling and importation of bird, which measures out to be the size of a thumb weighing less than an ounce. Number 11. Foie gras. Here come the French again with their controversial eats. Foie gras may be a celebrated delicacy of French cuisine, but the way it's made is very unethical, which is why the city council in Chicago placed a ban on the production and sale of the dish from 2006 to 2008. More recently, the state of California officially banned the sale of the delicacy after former attempts have been challenged in previous years. Foie gras is the fatty liver that comes from either ducks or geese. The liver is fattened by force feeding the animal with grain and fat until the liver swells. As one could imagine, this is so uncomfortable for the bird that they begin to tear out their feathers or even injure one another out of distress. A nationwide ban has yet to be enforced. However, it may be on the horizon with California's successful ban just last year. Number 10. Kinder Surprise Eggs. Those who have traveled in Europe know how popular Kinder chocolate is, but the main reason it hasn't gained traction in the US is because not all of Kinder's products are very legal here. More specifically, the hollow Kinder Surprise eggs are prohibited in the states because they contain non-edible items inside of them. Here's the good news though. A different version of Kinder eggs called Kinder Joy should have become available in the US sometime in 2018. These also contain a surprise toy, but their packaging seals both halves of the hollow egg to keep the toy away from the rest of the candy, making them fully compliant with FDA regulations. Number 9. Sea Turtles. Sea turtles are caught and killed for their meat. In some countries, they're even considered a delicacy. But you'd be surprised to know that they're caught and killed for meat even in the US. In 2007, the US Fish and Wildlife Service reported that conservationists estimated that 35,000 sea turtles are consumed annually in California alone. Now, according to Sea Turtle Conservancy, sea turtles are given legal protection in the US and its waters under the Endangered Species Act. 
This lists the Hawkbill, Leatherback, Cam's Ridley, and Green Turtle as endangered. The Loggerhead is listed as threatened, though, so I think that might still be up for grabs. Number 8. Mangosteen. Mangosteen is a fruit that is enjoyed throughout Southeast Asia. It is highly coveted for its many healing properties that have been shown to successfully treat numerous diseases in Asia for thousands of years. Now I understand why the previous entries were banned, but why is such a beneficial, wholesome fruit banned as well? Well, as it turns out, it's not only as humans who enjoy eating this fruit. Asian fruit flies also find them very tasty. Until recently, it's been illegal to import it as a fresh fruit in the U.S. due to fears that it could harbor the Asian fruit fly, which is something that could destroy U.S. crops. Now, importation is permitted, but it must be controlled and irradiated by the USDA. Number 7. The Queen Conch The Queen Conch is a large marine snail that lives in the Caribbean Sea and adjacent waters, and is one of the most valuable fishery resources for every country throughout its range. And yes, people actually eat them. Just think of escargot, only, you know, supersized. They're reported to be pretty tasty, actually. But unfortunately, commercial and recreational harvest of this animal is generally banned in U.S. waters. Not because they're dangerous to eat, but because they're highly endangered. Queen conch populations are declining throughout their range and have been mostly depleted in some areas. They're highly sought after for their meat, and even though they are critically endangered, are one of the most valuable species in the Caribbean. Number 6. Beluga Caviar as of 2005, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has banned the importation of beluga caviar as well as other beluga products, which according to a New York Times article, formerly had a price tag of $200 an ounce. The caviar comes from the wild beluga sturgeon fish, and is the primary reason why the fish has since become endangered. The ban was set in place in hopes of thwarting the species' extinction. But recently, beluga caviar has made a comeback in the U.S. Although it's still not allowed to import caviar that came from wild animals, that does not include fish raised in farms. There actually is a fish farm in Florida that raises five different species of sturgeon. Here, they harvest and sell caviar legally. While they don't have any beluga sturgeon, the caviar they produce is as tasty, even though they aren't as pricey. Number 5. The Japanese Pufferfish this whimsical-looking fish actually houses an extremely poisonous toxin called tetrodotoxin in its skin and even in certain organs. This toxin is known to cause paralysis and even death. With this in mind, you may wonder, why would anyone want to consume this dish? Apparently, it's regarded as a delicacy in the sushi world where it's more widely known as fugu. Consumption of the fish is almost entirely banned in the U.S., with the exception of a few sellers who are permitted to have a license. Number 4. Horse meat. To be clear, it's not illegal to eat horse meat in the US. It is, however, illegal to slaughter horses, and by default prohibits the consumption of it, or at least makes it extremely challenging. That is, unless you're perfectly fine with eating the meat of a horse who has died of sickness or natural causes. Pretty appetizing, eh? No? Well, I figured as much. Former President Donald Trump renewed the ban on slaughtering horses for meat in March 2018. As is the case with other animals, it's not illegal or even taboo to eat horse in other countries such as China, which has one of the largest markets for horse meat. They have a large market for dog meat as well, but that's a totally different story. Number 3. Kasumazu Kasumazu is often referred to as rotting cheese because there's really no other way to describe it. It is rotten cheese. However, they come with a surprise, like the gooey chocolate at the center of a Tootsie Pop. Kasumarzu's hidden surprise, however, is 100% less appetizing and 100% more alive. You see, Kasumarzu is intentionally infested with live maggots. So when you take a bite of this cheese, you get the whole shebang. Rotten cheese, live maggots, and if you're really lucky, maggot poop. The Pecorino cheese, which is made from unpasteurized sheep's milk, contains the larvae of a particular fly. These maggots evidently facilitate the fermentation of the cheese. Once the larvae hatch, they begin to eat through the cheese, which effectively makes it softer. The cheese is then served with the maggots still lodged in it. Casu Marzu has been a tradition in Sardinia, Italy for many years. However, the EU and the US have banned the cheese for health reasons. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's best pick is the running for the most unappetizing food item on this list. I'm torn between it and Kasu Marzu. I mean, just look at it. It looks like a giant tick that's eaten so much that it started bursting at the seams. 
But it is food, and it's a delicacy in a very specific part of the world. What is it? Find out next with number two. Haggis. Haggis is a savory pudding that consists of a mixture of sheep's heart, lung, and liver. All of your favorites. Yum. Oh, and it also contains less exciting ingredients such as oatmeal, minced onion, suet, and stock. Pudding is typically presented and served to guests within the stomach of the sheep. Traditionally, it's consumed on Burns Night in Scotland, a countrywide event that honors Scottish poet Robert Burns. However, those of Scottish heritage living in the U.S. cannot dine on haggis due to the ban that the USDA placed on the sale of sheep's lung 48 years ago. The ban was set in place in light of the emergence of the degenerative disease Scrapey, which affects the central nervous system in sheep. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number one. Pig's blood cake. Mmm, just so tasty. This is something that definitely is named after its ingredients. Pig's blood cake is literally solidified pig's blood, usually served on a stick. Think popsicle, but less cold and sweet and more repulsive and vomit-inducing and copper-tasting. They're considered as street food delicacies in various Southeast Asian countries such as Taiwan and the Philippines. In fact, I have a Filipino friend that swears by them. But coming from a guy who eats boiled fertilized duck eggs and live mangrove worms, I gotta say that my tastes greatly differ from him. If you're hearing this, I love you, man. Just not for me. I'll happily take a fudge sickle or a lollipop. It's banned in the U.S. because the USDA deems its preparation to be highly unsanitary. Trust me, we're not really missing out, though. Have you tried any of these banned foods? Let us know down below in the comments! Also, make sure to check out the channel's other amazing videos. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time! Later, everybody!